Hello there. Um, in this video, uh, I'm gonna demonstrate how to use Google BigQuery uh, to handle large data set and use it in your D3.js visualization. Um, so uh, for this example, I'm gonna use the New York City uh, taxi fare data set and it is uh, a data set available uh, to the public uh, in the Google repository so you can download and use it. So I have the table here imported in my Google uh, BigQuery console already and there are two tables trip data and trip fare um, and the trip data uh, trip in this example we only gonna use the trip fare table and we will want to plot the total amount over the period of time during uh, 2013. Uh, so the two columns that we're going to pay attention to are the pickup date and the total amount column. Okay. Um, and I'm going to go to the details section here to show you more information about this data set. So the table size is 21.6 gigabyte. Uh, it's this fairly large amount of data and it has about 187 million rows. Um, and you can see a preview here down uh, at the Google uh, console. Uh, so the two columns we're going to pay attention to are the pickup date time and total amount. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a qu query uh, to join uh, to sum all the total amount over uh, the days in 2013. Um, so I'm going to go up here and uh, put in my query. So here's a query that I've uh, rewritten, uh, I've written before. Um, so and what it does is it's going to select the pickup date time and convert it to a date format from string. And then it will do uh, convert the total amount to integer and sum the total amount as a total amount here. Then it will group the uh, data by date and then finally order the data by date. So let's run the query to get the total amount. Uh, over the, the, the year and you can see here the query is taking quite a bit of time to run uh, almost 10 seconds and it say 4.53 gigabyte of data was processed and at the end of the run I have 365 rows uh, in my result and I have the date are sorted by uh, cro cro increasing order and from January 1st all the way to uh, December 31st and the total amount is summed up so you can see about two million dollars on January 1st uh, 2013 so I'm gonna take this data and go over to uh, vita.io and put it into a d3.js visualization okay um, and here I have a, a template already built uh, and I'm gonna put in the query here so here's a basic line chart from d3.js uh, uh, available on uh, vita.io and then um, I'm gonna load in uh, Google API and then use my config here to uh, query from Google BigQuery so I'm gonna use the. I'm, I already put in the query here for this example. Um, so it's the exact query that I used in the previous window. And then, uh, so the important thing is the parsing of day and time. Uh, so the format is year, month, day. So it it matches the format that we have here, and we're gonna, just gonna plot the taxi fare over the period of time. So. I've already prepared it here. As you can see, uh, it, it shows the authentication window uh, briefly 
uh, to access Google BigQuery to get the data. So you can query a very large data set, uh, aggregate them, and display the final result in a D3.js visualization. So that's how it works. Uh, we look forward to hear from you. Uh, send us any question that you have. Thanks for watching.